As a writer, Crutzen's work is very inspiring because he manages to complete an entire story, an entire character arc in one image, and you really get enveloped in you know, his world because his environments are so rich with props and all these little details that each time you look at it, you can find something different. Well, we were in class one day, and our teacher decided to show us this video by Gregory Crutzen. And it started off with Gregory picking out you know, places to, to shoot his photographs and the actors that he would choose, and he, you could just see the entire process fold out. And I was really inspired because I wanted to do something just like that, and I wanted to make it great. And then I wanted to bring Cassie on board too. So after we watched the Crutzen video in class, we went on break and Janice and I started talking and we were discussing how, how amazing Crutzen was able to construct his ideas and really kind of make his images very clear and concise. So Cassie and I had multiple ideas for this project and we wrote them down on a piece of paper and we met up one day and we went to a veteran memorial park. Okay, so we are in a veteran park and we wanted to come here to get ideas for this photo that we want to do for this project. And we wanted to do something outside but then we thought it wasn't going to work. So now we came out here and we started talking about this cool motel idea. And then um, stuff outside which, you know, the, the our ideas just didn't line up with the environment. And so we decided to, you know, kind of go with what Crutzen did, and he did a lot of things in, you know, like 1980s, like really old hotels, and that's what we're gonna go and search for now. And so now we are going to start looking for cheap motels to use so that we can do something creative with it, uh, but on a low budget. And we were thinking about um, this cool theme where there's a girl and she's She's got this internal conflict with herself and her psychologist tells her that she's crazy and she wants to show him that she's not the crazy that he's talking about. She's like on a completely different level. And so that's what we're talking about now and that's what we're going to get started on. You know, as a writer, we don't, we don't get to experiment with visuals at all because even if we get out of time as New Roman, it's, it's a no-no. So. I'm really excited to start working on this just because completing a story is one thing on paper, but completing a story with all the visual ele elements in one single slide is something entirely different, and I think it will strengthen us as writers. I'm going to get both of you. All right, go ahead. All right, so Denise, go. Okay, so we went to a motel. Um, I don't know the name of it, but it looked pretty uh, ran down. And so we go inside to ask if, if we could use uh, one of the rooms, <clears throat> but um, they they don't allow cameras on the premises, so we can't. We unfortunately couldn't use their location for our project. So, like Jenny said, we just came back from a, the hotel, and um, we were declined our invitation. Wait, no, that makes no sense. What? I don't know. <laughs> so, like, just. Bleh. So like Janice just said, um, we're not able to use the hotel room, so we're going to use uh, one of our friend's apartments. And it, it, it sucks, but at the same time, it'll give us more, more of a direction to go with. Because we can create our own room, basically. So it shouldn't hurt the process too much. It'll just take a little more time. We are going to use uh, my friend's room, um, you know, because he's very, very friendly and uh, <laughs> he's courteous enough to let us use it. And we're gonna just film something there. Or we could use my room What I really wanted to accomplish with this photo is the audience come out of it with you know this perception that there's always something else going on underneath. And you know, just because somebody may seem you know okay one day, you really have to be an attentive friend, family member, whatever, you, you have to be there for them 
and I want them to realize that this is what people feel like and we're just visualizing it. We're making it so it's easier to perceive. So it's not just random thoughts floating in your head, it's, it's you know, actual concrete props and things that this girl is interacting with in the photo and we want it to really come to life with you know, what she's feeling internally. Hudson's photos are really, really beautiful and inspiring and <laughs> being a writer and seeing how he was able to tell a story with one photo. It influenced me in the way because when I, when I write something, I want people to see exactly what I'm writing and I want them to be able to visualize it with, with no problem. And he, he did it in one shot. And I just, I wanna do that. And I want my people, my readers to see that. So we came in to set up today wanting to create a very girly atmosphere. And so the Rorschach test can clash with um, with the pastels and the pink and the environment to really create this kind of tug of war with the audience members. So what we want to do is capture the girl, me, um, from different angles to to highlight what is going on with her and how she's feeling and to get that uh, connection that she's having with the therapist. So we have her laying down on the bed um, in different positions and we have her interacting with the therapist to see um, so you can capture kind of like the emotion that's coming off of her. The process went rather smoothly throughout the night and it felt very easy. Everyone that, everyone that we invited to work with us tonight was very cohesive and we all met with ideas to help further the project in a better way. So coming in I was pretty nervous because it's my first time you know, directing anything, especially with cameras and visuals. And so I'm really happy with how smoothly it ran. We started you know, just talking about ideas of prop placement and you know, different directions to give Janice and her husband. And I feel like it'll it'll come out well because everyone was on board with the same vision. Well, I really hope that it comes out great. I know it's not going to be exactly like Crutzen's photos, but um, we captured a lot of different angles and I'm pretty happy with the results that we have. I just hope that the audience likes it and can interpret the photo the way that it was supposed to be interpreted.